Good evening, Italy. I'm Nathaniel Erickson. We've got some breaking news that just recently came in from the city of Verona. Around 7 o'clock, we received word that two very well-known royal families are in complete devastation in order of these events. This horrific event left three children dead with their families grieving. We have Edwin John at the scene reporting with more information. Edwin? Thank you, Nathaniel. As you said, I'm here near the scene of this tragic accident. Around one hour ago, the bodies of Capulet, Juliet, and Montague Romeo were found, along with another individual known as Paris. It is to be believed that the cause of this accident is the great feud between these two families. I have gathered a couple of witnesses. Right now, I'm here with the father of Juliet. What do you have to say about your daughter's death? I'm absolutely devastated and disgusted by the results of this event. Because of the stupidity of both of our children, both of our families are suffering from great losses. In this process, we did not only lose our beloved child, but many other family members as well. Our family members used to have a great feud with each other. However, we both realized this entire thing was our fault. Because of the grudge between our two families, our children did devastating actions for true love. Thank you, Mr. Capulet. Now I'm here with Alexa, Juliet's nurse. How did you have any influence and what are your thoughts? Yesterday the friar came up, came to me and told me that Miss Juliet had stopped breathing. I, after I pronounced her death, I helped put her in the casket. I was surprised that she planned her death. Thank you very much, Alexa. So, Mr. Montague, what are your thoughts on this tragedy? Uh, as my now ally said, we are uh, emotionally devastated by the sudden turn of events that has destroyed our family's reputations. These lovers were real children, and they have committed suicide. The feud we had has now come to an end, as their lives did, and we will talk about what has happened here for many generations to come. Thank you, Mr. Montague. No, Friar, I am told you are a very close member in Julia's life, and a very helpful figure in her and Romeo's relationship. How exactly did you play a factor, and what went wrong in your opinion? For many centuries and generations, the Montagues and Capulets were at feud with one another, which has lasted many years. When Juliet came to me, telling me of her and Romeo, I was immediately on board, and I helped her and Romeo stay together, since her parents were going to make her marry a man named Paris. In action, Juliet faked her own death. When I went to wake her, I found the bodies of Paris and Romeo by her side. When Juliet saw this, she took her own life because she believed she could not bear to live without Romeo. I now believe the Capulets and Montagues have learned the effects of their actions. That is completely devastating. Thank you for that. Nathaniel, there are many different opinions and feelings on these events, and many different responses will come from it. It is truly heartbreaking that the Montagues and Capulets would have to experience something like this to finally end their ongoing hatred toward each other for many generations. I hope that both families will be able to recover from these devastating events and that nothing of this structure will ever happen again. Back to you, Nathaniel. Wow, that is completely devastating. Thank you, Edwin. We'll be keeping you updated on any other news in this catastrophe or any information that we may have. Coming up next, we have Dwayne Reed and Lorenzo Jackson reporting on an incident at East Point High School. I'm Nathaniel Erickson, and this is Nightly Nine News, Italy.